Hey, welcome to the stream. It's Game Maker Academy. Uh, it's your host, Cyber Dragon. Uh, today, I've decided to do a stream to uh, update the teleport technique. I did show one last stream where you're using a collectible. Uh, there are a few drawbacks. There are limitations to how many times you can teleport. And it also shows that little collectible thing in the bottom right corner to say that you've picked something up. When, you know, when you're playing, it can be confusing to the player or it's just not a very appealing look. Uh, so I've played around with it a bit more and I want to show you how to do it in a different way and it might be useful. So let's get started. I'm just going to grab some colored blocks just to differentiate, uh, di differentiate the areas. Let me just bring up the... I don't know, we'll just pick a few different blocks. So we have different colors. We'll pick four for this example. And we'll pick the yellow. All right, fantastic. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're just going to create uh, four areas, just so we know we're teleported from A to B. All right, fantastic. Now let's just bring out something to push as a button. Uh, you can pick anything. I like to use this. You can make it smaller or bigger as much as you want. All right, so essentially we only just need one item. Uh, as last time, we only needed one item. Uh, so for this one here, we go global parameters, controller, components. This is where we could change the avatars, um, you know, set it. So we're going to respawn to tag to a spawn and to kill the avatar, we want a kill. Uh, awesome. We want the delay to be minus two. Now message sent on death. Uh, we're going to do kill. That's the standard one. Um, and the message is going to be sent to tags a spawn. So we'll copy that over step here. I'll explain more about these settings in a moment and why we selected them uh, but for now you need to copy these exactly. Um, if you want it to work you can obviously customize your own tag names but they need to be in the same spots. Uh, this tag and this tag and the kill has to be here. All right so let me explain what we've done. So uh, we got going to do an asset spawner in this case. All right, and the asset spawner, um, you know, we can bring it out to about there. Uh, asset to spawn, I like to just do my usual pads here. They're small and they work. Uh, behavior, we're gonna do message broadcast. Now, I don't know if, um, if you've seen my last stream, but I'll have a quick explanation of what happens here. So at the moment, uh, if you're using drop mechanic or asset spawner and you bring out a, uh, an asset uh, with a behavior or a component attached to it, since we can't use presets, they only come out as default behaviors. We can't alter them. So whatever the message broadcaster's default behavior is, it's gonna be attached to this numpad. Uh, so let's go over here. We will select message broadcast. Okay, so that's its default behavior. The only reason I brought this out here is to show you what it looks like here. So message to send is trigger. It will send it to everybody. Um, and that's it. Right, so when a message sent is trigger and it's sent to everybody, if we go back to our global parameters, we made it so um, instant death message for us is going to be trigger. So we did have to change something. Here we go. So now when a message broadcaster comes out, it will send the message trigger to all, which will be us as the avatar, uh, which will kill us. When it kills us, it will say, take us to a spawn. So that is the default setting for that one. We can go ahead and get rid of that now. And over here, 
we know that when we spawn our message broadcaster, it's going to send the message trigger, which will kill us. Awesome. Now we want a health component attached. So we're going to get a health component and now that is attached to the message broadcaster. All right, so let's see what the default settings for the health component are. It says instant death message is kill. Um, and that's it. Everything else, it will destroy it. Once it receives a message kill, nothing else is attached to that. So we're going to use that, right? So uh, here, message sent on death is kill. And it's going to send it to a spawn. So what I've done here is this health component is now attached to that message broadcaster, which has an instant death message that says kill. Uh, so when we die, it's going to send that message kill to kill that message broadcaster. So it's kind of doing two jobs at once. It's killing us and we're killing it at the same time. Um, so that is that purpose here. So we'll get rid of that. So what we've got now, so we've got a message broadcaster that will spit out a numpad that will have a health component. Uh, sorry, we've got an asset spawner that will spit out a message broadcaster. Uh, which is a num numpad. It has a health component. Uh, now we just need a message, right? So we're going to say uh, teleport teleport one. Perfect. So this now will um, bring out something that we can now teleport to. Now you don't have to do it on this big item here. You can do it on a small item here. If you wanna put this in an easier uh, spot, you might be working in some tight spaces, so that might not be a good, good thing for it. So we can go zero here. So the asset will spawn on top of it. Um, message required. Teleport one. Awesome. It's going to spawn a pad. Its behavior is going to be a message broadcaster. Its tag is going to be a spawn to match the one in our avatar settings. And the components will be a health component. So that's it. That's all you need here. And if we put that over there, and we'll make this one a button, because we don't need that to be an asset spawner. We've got it already. So teleport one. So now when we push this button, it will summon a spawn and teleport us there. Whoops, uh, we're a bit far from home, but let's run over there anyway. And then we'll move the uh, spawner. So now when we push this button, it teleports us over here. Done. Now you see a little explosion underneath. Now we can decorate this in a, in a way where it's a lot more cleaner. Let me show you. We're just gonna bring this to our working location. Okay, so we've got an asset spawner here. Um, we can push it down two spots. One, two. And we should still be able to teleport on there. And it's a lot cleaner. As you can see, the explosion's not so dramatic. Um, now, a good thing about this is you can go ahead and duplicate this item. Bring it over here. And then you can go ahead and get that asset spawner, duplicate it, bring it over here. And then all you have to say for this one is teleport to. Or we can say teleport. Let's make it easier because it's visual. So teleport purple. All right, so message required for this teleport here is teleport purple. We can make this button here be teleport purple.
perfect. So now we have two teleport systems. Yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple. All right, and then again, you can go ahead and copy these two, duplicate, and bring it down to the blue. I say two because there's one here under the floor, as you can see. Then you can go ahead here and make it something else, right? So this one's teleport blue. Excellent, and we can duplicate that, drag it over, just make sure it did duplicate it, yes it did, and then we'll make this one teleport green, awesome, I uh, just want to make sure we got teleport yellow, So it's all color coordinated. Teleport yellow. Awesome. Now we can go ahead and duplicate this. Uh, this one here is teleport yellow as well. I should change that one. Teleport yellow. Uh, this one here will be teleport green. And we can duplicate this item, bring it over to the green one. And we're going to do teleport blue. Teleport blue, yep. It's not recognizing the message, just want to make sure I have did that correctly here. Teleport blue. Teleport blue, all right, fantastic. Uh, let me just show you what I've done here. So green should go to blue, blue should go to green, uh, yellow should go to purple, purple should go to yellow. Uh, these are all unlimited teleports. You can do this as many times as you want. And all you need to do now, if you want a destination, is to have a ask a component. Um, and then you might know what to do from here. So teleport, uh, we can go purple, yellow, blue, and green. And then the messages. And then now you've got a four-way teleport system without presets. Pretty easy. Uh, the drawback is um, if you're using the messages on def for something else in your game, uh, then you are not capable of making this system, I suppose. Um, but it's very rare that you might be using that for a game. I don't imagine many people will be. Uh, so this might be more useful for most than I imagine. Uh, let me finish off these codes and then we should have a, an example four-way teleport system. Teleport blue and teleport green. Teleport green. Fantastic. All right, so now we've got a asker here. He will take us to yellow. Yep, there's our teleport. Yep, we'll go blue. Yep, perfect. Let's try green. Awesome. And then purple. So from, from that, you can have a chain of, of uh, teleports. It doesn't have to be a four-way teleport. Or you can have selections as you normally would. So there's the teleport system back in its full force. Remember to double check the components here. Make sure that the spawn tag is the same as the kill spawn tag here. Uh, and the def message has to be trigger uh, for your message broadcaster to kill you. And this message has to be kill. And if you want the def animation to be instant,
put minus two here. Hope that was useful. Uh, short stream today just to get this technique out there. Um, but if you have any questions or want to see something done, just send me a message. Um, have a great day and all the best. Thank you.